Hey, I'm Kate, and this is Wheel Talk, a new TV show I'm hosting on the web. So I guess it's a web series. It's made by Future Motion, the creators of One Wheel, and we're going to be talking about a different topic revolving around the One Wheel each week. We'll be interviewing people from the industry, employees, and other active riders, and we're going to figure out what the stoke's all about, because there's a lot of buzz around the One Wheel, and I'm trying to figure that out. I don't really know what to say now. I'm new to this. I'm new to hosting shows. I've never done it before. And this is our studio that we built. Let's cut. Hi, I'm Jane, and today we're talking about all the cool things in our studio, like this go-kart. And we're gonna go chop down a Christmas tree. This is Wheel Talk. How did the cart happen? Yeah, so um, Vice actually reached out to us. Tyler, the creator, wanted to build a go-kart out of one wheels, and we said, of course. Tyler was totally unpredictable, uh, absolutely nuts. You have no idea what he was gonna do. Um, but it was cool, because by the end, he was super psyched, and we were all kind of buddies. Yeah, he didn't want uh, to get dirty, so he didn't wear shoes. Interesting philosophy. If you're gonna ride in the cart, you gotta, gotta come prepared, so. Yeah, so the cart is, is basically like a Frankenstein of one wheels. You have four one wheel motors. You have all of the battery modules and controller modules stuffed under um, this frame. So the cart is controlled with a PlayStation controller. We wanted to make it feel like Mario Kart. That was kind of the goal. So it's got skid steering like a tank. You're going full speed and you just barrel into these, um, you know, drifts basically. And that was the moment for him where he like turned into this evil gremlin and started trying to chase everybody which ended in hitting the producer's car, and that was the end of the episode. The story of the painted one wheel. We had our Pro Rider Summit in Ojai for the release of the One Wheel Plus. We invited all of our athletes to Ojai to kind of like play around, essentially like summer camp riding on the beach, trail riding, barbecue, all that fun stuff. And we decided to have a arts and crafts portion. So we took down a huge canvas with some paint and we got a bunch of white plastic suits. So everyone suited on up and came out to this giant field where we had the canvas out with like buckets of paint and people just started rolling the tire through paint, spinning it out and uh, cruising along the canvas and they would take like paint brushes and Turned, in, turned into a mess pretty quick, but um, you know, it was a ton of fun. Everyone like put their own little spin on it, some handprints, and um, it was a really nice way to, I don't know, bring everyone together, create the first piece of one wheel art that has ever happened. So hopefully there'll be more projects in the future, or if anyone out there has done art with their one wheel, please send it in. We, our studio needs more beautiful things on the wall, so let us know. Hey, I'm Cade, and we're in the mechanical lab. We're interviewing Dan, the lead engineer, who designed the one wheel, basically. That's not true. <laughs> uh, so I joined in 2015, and my job was to launch the Plus. How would I explain the one wheel to my grandpa? It's essentially an off-road vehicle with one wheel, and you control it with your body. Uh, so wherever you lean, it goes. Uh, but it's kind of like snowboarding on sand. <laughs> and um, it's like a mix between snowboarding and skateboarding, basically. Because you can go on road and you can go off road. So it's kind of a mix of both. It's changed a lot since I joined. We've uh, improved the motor a lot. We've improved the foot pads and the sensors. We just took what people wanted. We wanted more power. We wanted um, to be more versatile in terms of what terrain you can go on. More power and more traction was everything we wanted. What's your favorite way to get in the holiday, holiday spirit? <laughs> <laughs> well, first I started by putting on a helmet. <laughs> Here. I'll yeah. take a hat too. 
Oh, do you want to you want to vlog and wheel, and I'll just be background camera? Let's do that. So this is, this is a content creation mission. This is work right now. Eli's getting suited up for the job. What's your yeah. What's your feeling right now, Eli? And uh, yeah, I think I'm ready to find myself a nice tree. and get muscular and beautiful like me so we can carry trees. Get the shot! We got a tree, we got a tree. Yeah. All right, that's gonna do it for this week's episode of Wheel Talk. Thanks for watching, and if there's anything you guys wanna see next week, leave a comment below.